Hello everyone and welcome to the Coeur d'Alene Wastewater Utility Department. Today we're going to take a tour of our Coeur de Green compost facility. Did you know that every day the city of Coeur d'Alene produces more than two truckloads of biosolids? That's more than 20 yards of biosolids every day. We'll take those biosolids, mix them with some wood chips, and compost them over a period of about 30 days. Once the process is completed, we've got a Class A exceptional quality compost product that we call Corda Green. Corda Green is used throughout city parks and is even available to the public at various retailers. We're going along on a ride with Clark. Clark's grabbing some biosolids right now and dumping them into this hopper. What does that look like? Well, here you go. These are the biosolids we removed at the wastewater treatment plant. Back on board with Clark, we're going to grab these fresh wood chips and mix them in with our Overs chips. The Overs are just recycled chips. We'll screen them out of the process and reuse them about three times till they're broken down to the point of where we can't use them again. This is the auger that feeds those wood chips into our system. Both the wood chip auger and the biosolids auger we saw earlier are feeding into these dual augers that you see climbing up before you. The purpose of this is to mix those two products together. Once mixed, we can finally build our static pile. We're on board with Dominic now. While Clark is outside filling up wood chips and biosolids, Dominic is grabbing that mix. He's going to be building our piles. We use aerated static piles. Rather than having to mix windrows, we leave our piles alone and pump air through them.
Like many processes in wastewater, we rely on microorganisms to do most of the work for us. To help get a jump start with our new compost pile, we'll take some compost that's already been working. Dominic is going to grab this compost that's been cooking for about a month and use it for both a bed and a blanket. The bed goes on the bottom of the compost pile, while the blanket of what he's going to grab now goes on top. This produces an insulating layer that really jump starts our piles. What Dominic's doing now is adding aeration pipe. These pipes are attached to blowers and are going to provide the air that the bugs need to do their job properly. Here's that bed we were talking about earlier. After the compost pile has been built, things really begin to heat up due to that microscopic activity. We'll keep temperatures over 104 degrees for two weeks and over 131 degrees for three days. With temperatures like these, we're assured to have Class A exceptional quality compost. Here we are taking a look at one of our outside piles, nearly 160 degrees. After our piles have cooked, it's time to screen them. Recall that we had all those wood chips in there and we need to separate that out. How do we do that? We'll use our screener, of course. Whoa, hold on a minute. Let's back that up and see what's really going on. Let's take a trip down our screening system so we can see what's happening.
This is our trommel screen. You can see it's perforated. That allows the compost to fall through one side while the wood chips or overs continue on their journey. The overs are really moving now. While the overs go one way, the compost goes another. Okay, thanks Clark. You can finish screening now. We're very proud of the fact that instead of filling up a landfill, our biosolids are growing beautiful flowers. On behalf of the City of Coeur d'Alene Wastewater Department, I'd like to thank you for touring the Coeur d'Alene Compost Facility.